Tsuji-san. When I found the English translations of their recordings, they were already burnt to this state. How unfortunate. I'm sure the Chinese already know about the secrets in the briefcase. We're the only ones who still haven't got it. What should we do? The British will never let the Chinese out. Send the intelligence out easily. The Chinese will definitely make their moves. Wait for one more day. Yalta. Though our radio was interrupted, we can still send a telegram. It's easier than sending a living adult, right? The British can intercept our message easily, but even if they intercepted the telegram, so what? Our side will still obtain the intelligence. And if you really leave, you can also lay a trap with a wiretap to bewilder them and leave quietly. Why did you destroy their monitoring device? You angered David Patry and let the Japanese believe. You have obtained the intelligence from the briefcase, then a bunch of mad dogs will be chasing after you. Mr. Shu, if the Japanese truly seek the intelligence, they will definitely try to kill me. If this intelligence is a trap, they will help me escape the British. So I can send the intelligence back to China. You want to use your actions to verify the authenticity of the intelligence? Are you suspecting Melanie? The more valuable the intelligence is, the greater the scheme behind it is. Is she a double agent? It is possible, deliberately spreading false information, to worsen the relationship between China and its allies. If China and Japan unilaterally reconciled, it will be beneficial to the Japanese. They can send two million soldiers to fight in the Pacific War. If the intelligence is correct, the Japanese will try to negotiate peace with China. Then, the Soviet Union will have no excuse to invade Northeast China. At the same time, we can evade this pincer attack from the North and the South. The Soviets are going to invade Northeast China? If we can prove the authenticity of this intelligence, then we are helpless in the United Kingdom. We can only mobilize China's resources to stop this secret agreement from going through. But this is too risky. I only need to reach Calcutta. At that point, I can determine the Japanese attitude. Even if the British capture me, it's worth it. Have you thought about it? If the British are using us as well. That's right. The British can deal with us secretly. They don't need to do all of these. That's just David Petrie's wishful thinking. He wanted to deal with both of us at once. He wants to lure out the Japanese and capture the spy who leaked out Colonel William Spears' information. This is a labyrinth. We seriously shouldn't get involved in this and lose our direction. If we want to become a player, we have to be inside the labyrinth. If we cannot verify the authenticity of this intelligence, then we won't be able to utilize diplomacy. There will be no basis for our military actions. This will affect China's interest. My life is nothing compared to this. If we can prove that the Yalta Accordance is real, what will you do? I will fully support the final battle with the Japanese so we can obtain a great victory against their aggression and turn the unfavorable resolutions of the Yalta Accordance around. At the very least, we will have the qualification to refuse to sign the unequal treaty and simplify the matter. At this moment, Liang Tong was thinking about how to send the intelligence to Yana so the Central Committee can solve the crisis. Attention!
Something strange had happened to the Chinese embassy in London. Huh? The Japanese attacked the embassy more than 10 hours ago. The reason is not clear. But what makes it even stranger is, after a few hours, our communication with the embassy was cut. I think it's deliberate. This can only be achieved by the British. Was Ambassador Gu Weijun at the embassy? He went to America for a meeting. Currently, the person in charge of the embassy is Councillor Shiji Hong. Your father-in-law. My wife, Shu Yang, is currently in America. She's a member of Madame Sung's delegation to America. The London incident is directly handled by Madame Sung. My wife and my father-in-law were dragged into this incident. It seems that I cannot be excused from it as well. Ah, uh, yes. I have a classmate from Military Academy. He's called Liang Tong. He's an inspector general sent by the military commission to Europe to study the European battlefield. He was at the embassy at that time. Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin are currently in a meeting in Crimea. The Japanese attacked our embassy at such a sensitive time. And our embassy and the British somehow stayed silent about it. After that, the British isolated the embassy from the rest of the world. This is a bizarre incident. It is bizarre indeed. Now, we should try our best to contact the embassy. If we can't, the delegation will have to cancel their trip to America and go back to London. Is Madame Soong going to London to settle things there? That's possible. It's late night in London at the moment. We will get the latest report tomorrow. I will keep an eye on this matter and contact you. Okay. This is the information given by the military commission. I've used it to come here today. Are you close with Liang Tong? Yes. We studied and slept together in the military academy. Though he's younger than me, we were very close. He had studied in Japan. He studied in Japan and then joined me as a classmate at the Nanjing Military Academy after returning to China. And Zheng Guangxi, he's the deputy chief of military intelligence and part of the U.S. delegation. He's also our classmate. Was Liang Tong in the 18th Group Army led by Chen Cheng and participated in the Battle of Shanghai and Wuhan. That's him. He is very brave and smart. He's a key member of Chen Cheng's faction. I think you should become closer to him. Maybe we can use him. Liang Tong is a military genius. He's also someone the party can use in the future. You are classmates. You should support him. Mm. Chen Cheng currently holds high office. He is a very powerful man. We all call him the little chairman behind his back. Shi Ji Hong seems to agree with the idea of a final battle. But he also said that someone is being reckless. Liang Tong suddenly realized that the final battle will not be as successful as he thought. Chiang Kai-shek's government was indecisive about the war against Japanese aggression. And the National Revolutionary Army is just like Chiang Kai-shek's private army. Liang Tong became worried. What will the Yalta Conference bring to China? Mr. Shi. You have used up the ammo in your gun, right? Yes. We don't have any in the storeroom. Please take this. The gun is a financier's special edition. Limited production. It's a valuable gun. You know your guns. It belongs to you now. I took this gun forcibly from my son-in-law. Take it. Use it to defend yourself. Mr. Shai, this is too valuable. I can't accept it. Is it more valuable than your life? Do you want to toss away your life? Keep it. Thank you, Mr. Shai. This is a notebook. 
It recorded Mr. Gu Weijun's life as a diplomat. He gave it to me. All these years, this notebook had helped me greatly. Take it with you. I believe you will face many unexpected things. Take a look. It might be helpful to you. Uh, I will definitely take good care of these two items. Continue to monitor them. We will be right there. They are on the move. Let's go. Yes, sir. You only need to take that plane in time and reach Calcutta. I believe the British will wait for you there. Persevere, and you will find the chance to turn this around. I will. Send a secret telegram to Madame Sung's delegation to America at the promised time. So they will go to Calcutta to meet you. You've planned this thoroughly. But you have to rely on yourself. On your trip in the United Kingdom, take care and persevere until you win. I believe we will live to the day the Japanese lose. General, the car has arrived. Let's go. Mr. Shi, we shall meet again. Peace is not easy to obtain. Our national pride is also obtained through guns and bullets. This is what history taught us. Take care. Take care. to locate Miss Melanie? Yes. The Americans brought her into the most beautiful air shelter in England. The Savoy Hotel, the American Cow. Yes. I've mentioned your request. Miss Melanie has agreed to use the American ambassador's car to send you to Bedford Airport. But that's just a backup plan. We should still use the secret waterway. We're here. What's new? The truck has not come out yet. Thank you. on the hook. Go to Call Island, okay?
Sir, mm -hmm. Chinese left the building. The two cars of Japanese following them. Patient. Wait until they get all in the net, and then we pull them out at once. Yes, sir. <laughs> The Japanese will not attack us if they are not sure if we're in the truck. The British are either behind the Japanese or waiting for us at the front. Front? There are too many segments to the waterway. I believe the British have full control of it. disappeared. Fool, find it quickly. The Japanese went to find the British. Let them play by themselves. Technicians have discovered the jammer set by the British. We can do something to disable it. That's great. We can send our messages, but if the British find out about this, they will install the jammer again. Then we must be careful. Don't alert them. Wait until the promised time and destroy the jammer. We must send this telegram to Madame Soong in Washington, D.C. Understood. At that time, General Liang should be on the plane. This telegram is very important. Yes, we've prepared everything. There will be no delays. Good. Drive back! Drive back to that location! Which location? Fool. The place where the truck disappeared. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir. What's going on? General Liang. They're halfway to getting off. General Liang Tung? I thought it was the ambassador. That fellow managed to fool me. Sir, huh? Japan is almost stepping in our trap. But turn around. These goddamn bloody bastards! We have to go. Go, 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 go! It's over there. Put down your weapons.
Cover me! Chase after Miss Melanie. Treat me to Sichuan rice wine when we get back to China. And find me a wife. Treat. Stay back, or I will kill her. Put down your gun. Take the woman away. Go. Yes, sir. Let's go. Sir, you see this bastard? Let's kill him! Oh, that hurts. Documents. Get on the bike. It will bring you to the plane. Not to Bedford? I believe you will get caught again. Before you reach Bedford, there's also a plane at this airport. It's also heading to Calcutta. I've already arranged it for you. Thank you. I hope that you can succeed in your mission. My brother is dead. Liang Tong. Took the life of my other half. Your brother is a brave warrior. We will remember him. Liang Tong. He killed my brother. Does this mean Liang Tong? And the Chinese have obtained the secrets of the Yalta Conference? <laughs> Liang Tong will bring this secret back to China. He must uh, 
have gotten the film. Do you know who's Liang Tong? I've investigated him. He is a key member of Chen Cheng's faction. He's a brave and smart man. That's right, he is an expert on Japan. He studied at the Imperial Japanese Army Academy. He has stayed in London for over one year. He's currently an Inspector General of the Military Commission. Sending a military staff back to China now means that the Yalta Conference will affect China's military actions. It seems that the content of that briefcase is important. My younger brother also lost his life because of this. Where's Liang Tong now? That's right. Where is he? That's our fatal mistake. Mrs. Spears. Melanie had taken him away. We fixated on the briefcase intel and deduced it's a film that Melanie delivered to the Chinese embassy. We went after the film but forgot about this woman. In reality, this woman had followed us. Killed our men. Snatched away the people we caught and taken away that mini camera. That's right. It's this woman's fault that Liang Tong killed my brother. Calm down. I don't care about that woman. What's important now is the location of Liang Tong. Where? Where is he? Liang Tong must be on his way back to China. Where is he? Calcutta. Yes, it must be in Calcutta. Commander Kimura, I have to go there personally. I will catch Liang Tong in Calcutta. We must capture him alive and grab that intelligence. It concerns the survival of the Japanese Empire. We must do something. My brother will not die in vain. I can feel Liang Tong coming closer and closer. I can hear his footsteps. strong protests. They have allowed us to make calls, but I believe the British will be monitoring our calls. If we say anything sensitive, they might cut off our communications immediately. Call Bedford Airport to check if our C-47 cargo plane had departed. Were there any messages for us? I've already called them. The plane has departed, but there weren't any messages. General Liang must have failed to board that plane. Where did he go? The promised time is near. Without General Liang, should we send that telegram to Madame Soong? Yes. Stick to the plan and send the telegram to Madame Soong. Tell them to fly to Calcutta immediately. Don't, Don't move! move. Don't, Don't move. move! Don't move! They have radio station and radio operator. Magnificent! Bring them all to me. We're gonna crank up their nuts. Digging out that rat just in the same move. We're gonna crush them like roaches. One after the other. Back. And for our brothers in arms. For their sacrifice. To get peace for their souls in heaven. Oh my god. <sighs> Japanese speculated that Lian Tong General have to go back. If 
Melanie is a trap by the Japanese. The Yalta intelligence is a scheme by the Japanese. However, everything is shrouded in mystery. If Melanie's identity fails to be verified, then Liang Tong has to find a new way to verify the information. At this time, Liang Tong's mind is working frantically. Are there similarities in history? Liang Tong read the notebook for inspirations. Suddenly, a record made him excited. He becomes elated. A new solution formed in Liang Tong's mind. He will use an unexpected method to let Yan'an receive this important information at the first moment. Hello? Hello? Hello, how can I help you? I need to I send, need to a, send telegram. a telegram. Fill this form, please. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, we've intercepted a telegram sent from Ballbrook Base. With the help of General Liang, we've already made contact with Ballbrook Base. The telegram was sent from the telecommunications room. It had already arrived in time, but by the time it was sent, the airplane had already took off. Destination, Calcutta. And now, the plane is going to China. So he did grow a pair of wings and flew away. Who did, did him board that plane? Get me an airplane ready. I have to fly to Calcutta. I have to tail him all the way. We need an airplane equipped for night flights. I have to confront this General Lampton. I have to wait for him in Calcutta. And don't let him meet anybody! Yes, sir. Financier. Liang Tong used the revolver to represent himself. This means he has reached Bolabrook Naval Base. At this moment, Xi Jihong didn't know. Melanie had already saved Liang Tong. It has become even more complicated. The plan was forced to change. The information about Yalta is very tempting. <coughs> the Allied countries hid such an important conference for us. This raises a lot of suspicions. The secrecy of the Yalta conference is unprecedented. Our overseas agencies put in many efforts, but couldn't get anything. But Liang Tong had obtained information about the Yalta Conference in London. It's an unexpected occurrence. I don't think it's that simple. Why isn't this happening in London? Why do they need to meet with Liang Tong in Calcutta? They can send the message more quietly. This is too obvious. Yes, it is bizarre. Liang Tong was a classmate of Zheng Guangxi at the military academy. Zheng Guangxi knows Liang Tong very well. Now Liang Tong's high profile behavior looked very strange to him. What had happened in London in the past year? Zheng Guangxi becomes suspicious of Liang Tong. Generals, we can move out now. Okay, let's go. Go. Stand by and wait when General Antung arrives. We take him immediately back to London and let him keep that secret rot in his belly and don't let him see anybody. Yes, sir. 
My name is Harold. I am from Calcutta Department. I organized this small office for you. I hope it's quite okay. Wonderful. Petrie, nice to meet you. You work too hard. <sighs> Sir, we've just received a telegram from Officer Allen. He found out Miss Melanie managed to get General Liang on a U.S. aircraft. Melanie? Miss Melanie was sitting in another airplane following behind. She has already arrived in Calcutta. We take Miss Melanie back to London too. But Miss Melanie, she's there together with the American ambassador. Ambassador Hurley? How did he come here? Ambassador Harley and Song Mei Lin are all there attending a meeting. Afterwards, they will be going to a meeting in Mangyong. My theory was right. God damn it! They fooled us! General Yang Tung, he knew early that Sung Mei Ling's flight is landing in Calcutta for transfer. <gasps> I can't do anything. <clears throat> God be with us. If General Yang Tung's plane arrives before Sung Mei Ling's transit flight comes, that's the moment when we step out, tear him out, and take him back to London. She's going to meet with Liang Tong soon. Melanie suddenly became confused. She was thinking, if she was Emi Nakayama, Melanie tried to find any clues in her memories that connects her with Liang Tong. Was Liang Tong deep within her memories? Welcome to Kolkata. So, are you Mr. Hurley? Zhang Shi, Zhang Shi. Your Chinese is good. <laughs> Sit down, please. Thank you. Well, I'm already seeking for uh, assistance with the Chinese background for a while. I saw the notice when I was in London for an event. You're faith and brave and faithful and brave. Can't wait to get you here, Milani. Thank you, Mr. Hurley. Well, I'm interesting. I heard you arranged General Liang Tung's travel to Calcutta by our trucking flight. My husband is dead. I got protection from General Liang Tong, but British intentionally created illusion that General Liang Tong obtained the Yalta secret. Ah. Well. But are you sure that General Liang Tung didn't get the Yalta meeting secret? Yes. I got my husband's suitcase all the time, mm. from the beginning until now. Mm. The Yalta agreement is still a secret for me. I don't think it should have leaked already. What's the benefit? And why the British created this myth? To attract Japanese. To discover the German spy of British inside via Japanese. Is this related to your husband's death? Germany got my husband information from a German spy and mm. murdered him. Mm. You're supporting General Young. Does that also lead to the Japanese? That's right. That leads to Japanese. I will arrange my husband. Ah, it seems everything is explained. But what is the intention of General Liang? I don't know. Well, for the present, the most important thing is that... Tomorrow...